Hi everyone, here's a quick little follow-up to my video on the shapes tools. I was asked how do you do half circles with the shape tools. So I plan on showing you some ways that you can do that. Okay, one way to do a circle, a half circle, is to start by using the circle tool. So I'm going to choose the circle tool, border, fill, and make a circle. Okay. Then, since my background is white, what I can do to turn this into a half circle is use the rectangle shape, but then have the border white and the fill white, and watch what happens. So I draw a rectangle, and then I'll move this over so it's a perfect half circle. And then what I could do is group this whole thing. Here's your grouping icon. So now this travels around. So that's one way. Now the only problem here is if someone changes the background on you. If I change the background, you're going to see clearly what I did. Okay. So again, that's one way. And for some cases, that may be all you need to have a half circle on your paper. But I want to show you some other ways that you can do that. So let me change this back to a white background. And let's start again with the circle. So I'm going to do a circle. This time I want a black border. So again, if you right click, you have more color options. And I'm not going to have a fill. Okay, so there's my circle. Then I'm going to use the vertical line tool and divide my circle in half. Okay, look at that. Looks like I'm off just a hair. Let's move that right about there. That looks okay. Not perfect, but okay. Now, another way that you can do this is use the camera tool then. So you start out by this design, and now I use my camera tool, and I take a picture of my half circle. So I can get, get pretty close to it. And I'm going to copy that to the current page. And now I have a half decent half circle that I can rotate. And I can use, I can resize. I want to quickly show you this and remind you that when you create a new shape, half circle or whatever it is, a shape that you want to use over and over again, you can add it to your resource browser. Uh, you're, you have options to create uh, folders. Uh, I have a shape folder that I created and all I need to do is drag a shape that I created over here and let it go and it's going to appear within my resources that I'll be able to use over and over again. So you can see here now I added several half circles and the nice thing is I can just pull them out, add them to uh, my pages. Uh, these are some half circles that I created earlier and added to my resources so that they're always there. Then I can then use, rearrange, rotate. So it's hopefully that's going to help you out a little bit uh, with the shape tools and half circles and hopefully this will show you how you can do other types. So you can basically make any type of shape that you would like.